and women who investigate crimes are always looking for new ways to tackle tough cases. And today, that's exactly what they got from a man who has cracked some of the country's toughest cold cases. Paul Holes worked as a cold case investigator for nearly three decades. And in recent years, he's gained quite a following from fans of murder podcasts and true crime in general. Josh Hoggard was at the WFPD's training center today, and he's joining us now with more. Josh. So if you're a true crime junkie, I don't need to tell you who Paul Holes is, especially if my favorite murder is in your regular podcast rotation. But if you don't recognize the name, I'll guarantee you recognize some of his work. The team that I was part of uh, solved the Golden State Killer case. Paul Holes is nothing short of a legend in the true crime community. I spent 27 and a half years working in law enforcement, uh, both in a forensic scientist capacity as a crime scene investigator, and then ultimately as an investigator. My specialty was working uh, cold cases as well as serial predator cases. And it was his work on one of America's most notorious cold cases that piqued the interest of our district attorney, John Gillespie. In 2018, I listened to a podcast called Criminology that covered how he solved the Golden State Killer. Gillespie regards Holes as one of the world's leading experts in solving cold cases. So why not learn from the best? We reached out to him and he said, cover my travel expenses and I'll, I'll come in for free and do training. And so today, investigators Investigators and prosecutors gathered at WFPD's training center to learn how Holes and his team were able to crack the Golden State Killer case with investigative genealogy. We can take uh, this DNA from the crime scene, generate a special type of profile to be able to search select genealogy databases to find relatives of this unknown offender. Holes and his team used this method for the first time in 2017 and the results spoke for themselves. We utilized the genealogy tool for the very first time to identify Joseph D'Angelo as the Golden State Killer. Now, investigative genealogy is being used by law enforcement agencies across the country. It's led to over 500 uh, uh, arrests and murder cases or, and sexual assault cases that have been unsolved for years. It's a tool that law enforcement agencies in Wichita County are now able to consider when trying to solve cold cases in our area, something both Gillespie and Holes are passionate about doing. No matter how old the case is, these families still live with the trauma as if the case happened yesterday. Just because a case happened 20 years ago or 30 years ago, that's still a victim with a family and those families still matter. Now, in addition to training law enforcement agencies, podcasting, and appearing on TV, Holes recently released a memoir called Unmasked, where he relives some of the cold cases that he solved in his career. I picked up a copy last night, and I'm only a few pages in, I'm going to be honest, but I'm telling you, I'm already hooked. And if you want to grab a copy, you can find a link to that in just a little bit over on our website in this story at texomashomepage.com. You'll probably tell us what the whole book was like tomorrow when you get to work. <laughs> you know, I 100%. think it's so exciting what they've been able to do with this genealogy technology over the past, what, six years. It really is exciting. I was amazed by some of the stuff that they were able to talk about in there. There's so much that... You know, we just didn't have time to get into it. It was really fascinating. Right. I bet it was how awesome that he could come here. Okay, Absolutely. Josh, thank you so much for that report.